Pro-Romania is a center-left party that is set to merge with the centrist Alde Romania. Pro and Alde party members are allowed to run on the Pro list in the upcoming 2020 national parliament election. The party favors centrist economic policy. In the ongoing election campaign, Pro promises investments into transportation infrastructure, for example, relating to the development of the Pan-European Corridor 4 and the expansion of the Henri Coanda International Airport. The party wants to invest in government programs that encourage young people to become entrepreneurs, introduce a scholarship program for young people who come from disadvantaged backgrounds, and increase the number of social workers that work around vulnerable groups and in crime prevention. In the context of the recession brought on by COVID-19, Pro proposes a basic income of 410 euros per month for singles or 920 euros per month for families with at least three people. In terms of health, Pro-Romania wants to reopen schools, which have all been closed due to the ongoing pandemic, and to make COVID-19 testing free for all citizens. The Chapel Hill study places Pro-Romania as a socially centrist party with a slight tendency towards traditionalist policies very similar to its EPP competitors, but more liberal than its national S&D partner, PSD. Pro-Romania wants to implement the provisions of the Istanbul Convention, which aims to end violence against women and domestic violence, into Romanian law, as well as make buildings, public spaces, and public transport accessible to people with disabilities. Pro-Romania is, according to Chapel Hill, somewhat in favor of EU integration and supports the membership of Romania in the European Union. Pro was created in 2018 by former Prime Minister Victor Ponta, with other former members of the PSD over disagreements on how PSD approached issues around corruption and the rule of law while in government. Victor Ponta stands as their main candidate in this election. Pro-Romania joined the SND group in the European Parliament in 2019. They are, however, not members of the Party of European Socialists, but of the centrist transnational European Democratic Party.